Numi, I want to start just right away with you. I mean, how did it actually feel to work and to play in a spacesuit, to actually move in it and to shoot all those incredible scenes on the ISS? Yeah. Fantastic. And so hard and difficult and physically demanding. Um, but, you know, and it, it, they made our amazing team made them like an exact replica of ISS. So it really kind of looked exactly the way it does and the dimensions and everything. It kind of, you know, felt really real. Everything and the suits, they were like every detail was so well done. And and I kind of, you know, I felt that I left Earth sort of and moved into a different reality. And we had an amazing team making it work every day. So I felt really blessed and had to really put on my AAA game every day. <laughs> we had two weeks to uh, prep, you know, a lot of yoga, a lot of training in the harnesses to make it look weightless. Um, it's one of those things that's like a dream come true because, you know, you're like a kid playing in a spaceship. And just, you know, the details, there are things that uh, they, it, the spaceship really, the ISS really looks like how it will look in space. And they were very keen on that. So it was just a wonderful experience to be in there, but it is difficult. It's difficult when your harness is all the way up in your stomach and then you have to deliver a line, you know, and you have to make it look real. But at the same time, since the environment has been shaped so realistically, you don't have to act. You can just be in it. And there's moments where we're disconnected from the reality of not being in space, but being in space, you know? And so it was just a wonderful experience for me in, in doing that. And um, I wish, you know, you got a chance to be in space, but maybe it will happen. <laughs> maybe it's season two. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Emma. Haben Sie Halluzinationen? Yeah. Astronauten durchleben Dinge, die sie nicht verstehen. Dann fangen die Menschen an zu versagen. Als ich dort oben war, war meine einzige Hoffnung, wieder nach Hause zu kommen. Du fehlst mir auch, Mama. Sei vorsichtig da draußen. Mami, wer war das? Das waren wir beide kurz vor der Kollision. You actually rebuild the ISS or at least parts of the ISS to film uh, those scenes in space. I mean, Michelle, for you, uh, you, you have uh, incredible uh, knowledge of, of working in different conditions, but still, how was that sort of zero gravity shooting and that process that you had to uh, went through? Yeah, it was amazing. I, I think I understand why most space shows, when you enter the spaceship, they have gravity. <laughs> <because> <laughs> zero gravity is so hard to do. It's funny, a, a few years ago, somebody asked me what I'd like to do next. And I jokingly said, well, I've never done space. And uh, I love that I got the opportunity to do that. It was thrilling. It was incredibly challenging because the Andy Nicholson, our production designer, built a replica of the ISS or of, of most of it. And it was incredible and accurate. Well, you don't walk. On, in the ISS, you float. So nothing was was practical for us. And of course, we had to build in platforms for our cameras and things for us to, to walk on. We also wanted to have this sense of claustrophobia. So the set was very confining. It came broke off in pieces so we could get our, our cameras in there. Uh, and it was amazing. We had wires and we had different contraptions that the actors rode on to look like whether they're on their bellies or sitting on them to look like they're floating. And then Numi actually did a lot standing. She did a lot just through having a very strong core, being in phenomenal shape. And if we were shooting waist up, she could get off the wires, as as did some of the other actors, and learned how to, to move properly. Uh, it was challenging. Everything you do, they have to act like they're they're actually floating and they've got to be as emotional and connected as they normally are on earth. So it was uh, it was challenging and exciting. Menschen sehen Dinge da oben. Und wenn sie zurückkommen, werden sie verrückt. Das ist keine Psychose. Wirke ich auf dich wie früher? Es fühlt sich nicht so an, als ob du meine Mom wärst. 